Ooh, what's up everyone? Fearless Falcon and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Right now, we are playing the Get In My Book game. That means you, mister. In my book. Oh, crud, I'm out of juice. Hang on. Hang on, I'm sorry. Hang on. Okay, you can come back now. What, you don't want to come back now? Bush? What could that do? It, was, it wasn't my way to begin with! Okay, you will pay for that. Freaking. Right in. Okay, that doesn't work. So, I got something going on here. I'm not sure what. So, it looks like I need to push this. And then this. I guess. I really don't understand. Did I not solve the puzzle correctly? Did I not solve the puzzle correctly? Hang on. Hang on. No, I got that right. There's another puzzle over there. I see it. I see it over there. Hello. Solving. Click. Why don't we so? Why don't we so? Why don't we so? I think. I think so. Yes. You press buttons randomly enough, and they always work for you. There we go. Now we're cooking. That goes there. Fixes all of that network. And now... Um, hang on, I'm not fully sure here what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, oh, yes, I got it. Works now. I didn't realize I could push that. Now how do I get out? Oh no, I'm stuck. I don't think so. Well, unless there's another way out. Come on! This is twice in an episode, twice in a row now. Time out. Hello. <sighs> there, fixed. I shouldn't have to put up with this stuff, but I do. So there's no way out here. What do I have? Okay. Frick. Okay, do that. Why don't we so? Which undoes the fountain. Puzzling puzzles and puzzling phone calls yeah. too. 
I always hate when I get a really strange phone call in the middle of the day. The worst, the worst, is when it's an automated message. It's like, this is the IRS. We are calling because reasons and things, and you need to talk to us immediately about... It's like... We file our taxes on time. There's nothing you can call us out on. Why are you talking? Like, like... Like, seriously. We get it's a fake. That does that. And this does what? Nothing. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Now we're back out here. There's the fountain. How much fuel do we have in the book? I haven't checked that in a while. How much fuel do I have in my book? Book fuel. Book fuel. Book fuel. Thank you. Kidoki. There we go. That'll fix things. You need the fountain key to open this lock. Come on. Okay, fine. Back in here. I have a wheel. I have a thing. I have an item of sorts. I think. I have some sort of gear. The question is, what do I use it on? This? What does that do? Uh... Okay, so obviously I need to put this gear somewhere in order to get the fountain key. The question is where? Where, oh, where, oh, where? Somewhere in here, mayhaps? There's only so many places you can hide stuff, you know? No, you don't think so. I'm investigating. So where do I put this? Is there a secret over here? Something I need to... No... I'm confused. So there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh oh. I remember seeing a loose pipe upstairs. Can't you run any faster than this? Come on. It was, it was upstairs, outside of the wheelhouse and on the way to the fountain. If I fix that, I bet that fixes everything else. That's my guess. It was like, over here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Yes! It goes there, and then we turn this, and the fountain is fixed. Ruby. I have fixed the fountain. 
But where is the key? Something up here? Is the key up here? What's that? Why is there a fish? You found the fish. Good? I'm getting more and more confused over this, but whatever. I need the snorkel gear! <laughs> Next time on Mystery Mayhem, we get that key and we find out what's upstairs. Till then, Phyllis Duncan! Signing off! See you later.